Hey, what's up, everyone? Welcome to Profit Data. So today, exactly, I'm gonna talk about you know placing orders. So you know, previously I talked about in one of my videos where exactly I've been explained how you can uh, you know generate your access token and uh, you know can utilize this API in Python for trading purpose and analysis purpose. Okay, so here I've been exactly explained, but I didn't place the order. Okay, and in one of my two or three videos where exactly I have been gone through uh, with uh, you know Alice Blue showing how exactly I am placing order so like in the back end when I used to like fill uh, my database and then exactly fetch them and place the order so right now each and everything I am doing in Alice Blue okay so for that also you can follow these things okay so you know I have been you know talked about uh, API each and everything uh, in my last video which is uh, recent now which is intraday Renko ATR super trend okay which you can watch so you know Allies Blue is offering free API right now okay and uh, here I've been uh, in introductory video which I've been given four months uh, ago itself and uh, I've been explained how you can get the API uh, Allies Blue and you can do this stuff and right now I will show you how you can place the order okay so I'll just go step by step okay for this thing so I, I already told you you know if you go with allies blue it is uh, you know not much different syntax whatever they have given these functions are not much different than upstocks it is contains same as it is as it is like they have been copy paste okay so if you refer uh, the upstocks video also it will be helpful to you okay so in a simple format I try to cover how much it is possible so we will follow this sequence wise steps and I will show you real time orders how exactly I am placing this stuff okay so before uh, proceeding to this stuff I will talk about prerequisite thing so suppose if you don't have an account okay and you want you want to open a trading account with uh, you know allies blue just uh, below in the description I have given a link just go through it just uh, give your name email id select state you can select state Karnataka itself and give the mobile number and just submit and with the help of your Aadhaar and Park uh, PAN card you can open immediately uh, the account and if you get your uh, client ID and password I can help you to get the API key okay from this you can process this stuff okay through mail which I've been discussed in my videos which you can go through this one and for placing orders how WebSocket can run and can utilize you can go through this video this is not a detailed video but here I what I have been done I have been utilized a web socket and I have been uh, made algo trading which is uh, nothing but Renko ATR and SuperNet. Here I have been like you know explain each and everything in in a detailed manner. So right now I am running this stuff okay as in background my web socket is running and it is running beautifully I can I am just storing the data and I am utilizing this stuff okay. So just go through this stuff and uh, say so suppose if you want this installation you should follow this video and the link it will be there so just go through this and i'll show you how to place the order right now okay so say so suppose you need to generate the access token which is explained in this video so after generating what are the things you need to follow you definitely need username password and 2fa okay so suppose some people are uh, you know missing in a 2fa they are getting an error so I just want to tell them that you know you have to keep for every questions you have to keep the same answers then only you can utilize the 2FA and go for the algorithmic trading so you should not miss that part and if the answers are different just go the forget uh, you know 2FA and just uh, you know keep it same in my earlier itself I know that uh, you know 2FA answers required the same so I didn't do anything just kept each and everything so whatever you just uh, you know got 2FA just keep the same and password you can choose whatever you want client id will be there so just give, give username password and 2fa so each and everything i have been given in my login okay in, in each in this folder okay so suppose i contain this folder and i am going to do each and everything so my login contains each and everything you should be in a like in a username password and 2fa so this is the way you want okay so their link will be there which you can go okay if you just go through there you can uh, get this way okay so suppose how i am doing this stuff you can go this uh, you know allies blue github okay if you just go through this allies underscore blue github you will get uh, get this github pages where they have been explained this stuff 
in a nice manner okay so this is the way you can go so this is the way i am right now in my login import i am just storing my uh, username password this way okay and one more thing which i am doing is like uh, 2fa 2fa is my containing answers for each and everything as same so you can keep this answer as well for a itself okay and you can store so this is the way my login import is there one by one okay so i have been stored and can call them easily so i got my access token this way okay and i have been stored my access token in a notepad and then exactly i am utilizing okay so in my login username password or this other steps are there okay so right now i will like my call alice blue okay and i import each and everything whatever is there okay and uh, you know first of all i just call my access token which i already said it is in um, uh, my path file okay i always keep my uh, you know access token or uh, uh, api in a different file so easily i can access them and my strategy part will be different so if anything happens to my api i can generate a new one and can just access the folder path folder so i can beautifully can generate them okay so desktop is there and in allies i have been stored my access token okay token dot txt okay so this is my path file name and i'm gonna read i have been generated dynamically so if i get any new line i should strip them so this is the way i have been generated the access token now i will call them as allies you can call them anything okay as the github pages are there with the, in the name of allies i won't do anything so what happens you can mention as allies itself so you can uh, refer them in an easy way okay so how i am doing okay so first of all i just go through this allies blue and whatever i got my username should be the same password okay so i am exactly referring each and everything from login import itself so i don't have to do anything here and i can uh, if i am just referring this format okay in, in uniform ways say exactly i just have to say say here what i am doing for username and password okay i am just describing each and everything but if you follow something in an in a in a sequence wise you don't need to you know define each and everything if you just say this things it will be easy to cover up okay so you need to follow in any of the logic and algorithm if you are doing you should follow some steps so it will be easy to backtrack backtrack them okay to so trace them so i am doing that stuff okay i'm just following following the, this in an uniform way and each and everything has been stored me in my login so access token is is generated and next i have to say that you know i got this master contract which needs to be downloaded so whatever i uh, you know follow i need to download them so right now i'm just going with the nse so i don't need anything so suppose if you want nfo just say nfo okay so it will work for you nse bse nfo mcx so this is the way so this is very much important so i suppose if you got your nse mcx has been activated in your account that then only it will work okay so it should be activated and if it is activated and if it is in your profile that it has been activated then you can utilize this nsa nfo and mcx okay so right now i just go with the nsc so i just download this master contract for this stuff itself so i think i am done here okay so i'll just look through it what exactly i am doing and then we will go through this stuff okay so as you can see to download and whatever you want you just tell them okay so you can define this stuff and i think if you just go through this uh, nsc itself i think it will work okay so let me check whether it it work or not okay so here we are good to go now now place the order okay so i i need to refer this allies so i will say allies start place underscore order okay so here some of the stuff are there okay which is like uh, you know they are defining each and everything but i if i go through the sequence in an formal way 
okay if i follow the sequence i never need to define anything only if i get informal like you know i didn't go with the sequence then i need to define each and everything so that manner you you have to go so some of the sequence order which you need to follow which i am going to show you how you can do say suppose if i am going through the intraday order and it should be in a market so it is very much simple so first of all i have to say about my uh, whether i am going for the buy or sell okay so this is the way you can go so here it is buy and here you can go this way as a sell okay and you have to say about your instrument which instrument you are trying to fetch which exchange it is you have to say it here okay which is like uh, you in a in a statement where exactly you are referring as an automatic way it is also can be done so if you just refer here as an exchange and trading symbol it will work for you so symbol if i if i say here symbol let's say go with the reliance so here you can go as an a reliance okay so if i talked about my reliance and then if i say about like i have to talk about my quantity and the order type you know so this is the format you have to refer so initial say order it should be begin in a capital letter then type so i have been already discussed in my upstocks video which you can go okay so order type should be in a market because i am going a market order okay and it should be in intraday so how you can go order type dot market and if you say product type product type dot intraday okay so if you say this stuff it will definitely going to place your orders okay so let me show you okay so as you can see uh, i got a success message and i can show you in my this uh website okay which is my web app okay where exactly i am placing my orders okay so this is you can go so market order has been i been placed okay some rejected some reason are there but it will work for you okay because i think i am placing my order out of the market hours okay because this uh, right now it is square off okay in between like i am going through this stuff and in between you know okay but it will work for you if you go through this stuff okay so in a sequence wise i just show you like you know simple steps if you got this one and if you go through like here and there okay just a simple steps say suppose if i got this intraday and if i want to go with the delivery so i will show you each and everything here itself okay so if i say this in a delivery it will work for the delivery as well okay so as you can see that you know i got this uh my order which is of in a market and it is on delivery itself okay this one so as you can see cnc uh for this cash and carry for this one this stuff and uh, my market is like i've been gone through the market and for the delivery okay this, so this will be in a cash and that is in cash and carry and this is an in intraday so this is the way you can go okay so you got this stuff uh so in a sequence which have been followed so you can go this stuff this way and right now the market is there and orders are there so we will go through this the small changes i'll show you each and every orders who, who right now what i am doing instead of describing each and everything okay so right now market is done for intraday and delivery okay same as you can go with the limit also you have to mention the price and you have to say whether it is for the intraday or delivery so this is the way you can go so right now we'll go with the limit order okay so uh, in a sequence we are going okay so the, here i here it is there okay so limit order we are going okay so how we can uh, go for the limit order okay so if i say instead of market i should go for the limit so simple limit and product type should be intraday delivery it is up to you okay and next you have to mention a price okay so whatever you got reliance price you can mention that stuff okay so the web socket order is carrying on so we will take up this price okay so we can mention this price without defining each and everything because here price is there 
and it is in continuation after product type you have to give the price so this is the way you can go you just give the price and you are good to go okay now up to you whether you want to go with the limit order or uh, delivery or intraday you can go okay so i'll just show you if I, if my uh, it is shown success then definitely i am placing the order and if it is real time it will definitely accept my orders so it is in here is you can see in in alert also so whatever the orders has been completed it is showing me so 1459 is the price and this is the order which i am looking it is in delivery and it is limited limit so you can go for the intraday as well okay so right now whatever the prices are there okay in between i just talked about uh, my my uh, my stop loss stop loss limit order is also there okay we'll come with the cover order bracket order later okay right now we'll what i'll do is like uh, you know as we discuss this market order and limit order okay so in another video i'll discuss with other things so it will be uh, you know not confusing much i thought i'll finish this each and everything in one video itself but uh, you know we will continue this in other video so it will it will not uh, confusing to you okay so i must say that go with this try with these things with like uh, intraday order okay market delivery then limit intraday and delivery okay so go with these things and it will be helpful to you okay so right now we will stop this stuff and let me show you so suppose if i am whatever i have been covered so okay so delivery is done okay and intraday order is done here for the market okay and i have been gone through this uh, limit in which we discussed about uh, you know intraday order where exactly we have been given this price for the limit and in which in between like uh, you can cover for this stuff for the intraday you can go i think up to here we finished and in another video we'll cover all this stuff other stuff okay cover order bracket order stop loss market order okay so each and everything is there and we are following the sequence so it will be good to carry this stuff and it will be easy to carry this stuff okay so follow this format and you need to follow this format to do your stuff okay and bracketed or uh, bracket order is also there with the stop loss limit and limit order is also there which we will explain in another video thanks for watching please do like share and subscribe and if you want to receive the notification please click on the notification icon and uh, if you got any uh, doubt regarding this video please do comment below and if you have any other queries or requirements do contact me direct via whatsapp thank you